Now, the sport of target shooting is often perceived as being associated with a certain old-school demographic, perhaps lacking diversity. But one woman is hoping to show the world that is not the case and that the sport is keen to be more inclusive. Welcome, Ruth and Wandumba, the two-time English champion and, importantly, the first black woman to represent England. Ruth, thank you for joining us here on Sports Day. Um, we're going to have a proper chat in a minute, if that's OK. But first of all, I just want to play some of the poem that you've written as part of British British Shooting's new initiative, Target Change. Let's have a look at this. When you hear the word shooting, what image comes to your head? I've heard, oh, it's just an elitist game where people wear tweed, or for some, it's a word they dread. But when I hear the word shooting, no history is missed. The uniqueness, an Olympic sport since 1896. From the top of the nation to the bottom, I want people to be able to say, that a scouser from Waterloo, she helped pave the way. Alongside this person and that person, they really did open the doors to this beautiful sport that's not only ours, but could be yours. Ruth, we only saw a little snippet of that, but it was really lovely and it really struck me, particularly at the beginning when you just said, you know, what do you think of when you think of shooting? Um, why did you write the poem and, and kind of what are you hoping to achieve, really? Yeah, so, um, so I've always been a person that kind of expresses my thoughts and my feelings through creative writing. And I spoke to British Shooting and we collaborated with the Women's Sports Alliance and Ely to create this new initiative called Target Change. And it's designed to change people's perceptions of target shooting as a whole and also shape British Shooting's vision, which is to become a more inclusive and diverse sport. Um, so I wanted people to know about my journey throughout the sport and how I got to where I am. But that aside, I also wanted it to be an educational and informative piece. So not only do I speak about myself, but I talk about the history behind shooting as an Olympic sport and also the percentage of underrepresented groups within the sport too. So hopefully it, you know, it draws a whole new audience into the sport. That's what the goal is. And you've already done it. You've already broken the mould. So how did you get to where you are in shooting? Yeah, so I was in the um, army cadets at school, which is where I first discovered shooting. Um, but I didn't really get competitive until quite a few years later. But I knew from quite early on that it was something that I wanted to do. And as soon as I tried it that first time, I knew that I wanted to try my hardest to go far. And I don't think I quite expected my progression to be as quick as it was, but it was a lot of hard work and determination. So I'm just glad that it kind of paid off and it got to where I am now. Why do you like it? You know, what, what are you saying to, to young kids that you're trying to inspire to get into the sport? What would you say to them makes shooting a good thing to do? I think it, it's just so different from every other sport that you try. And, you know, that was a big thing for me because growing up, I was not a sporty person at all. And so, you know, all of a sudden I found this sport, which, which was, it was mine and I was great at it. And I was like, you know, this is something I never even knew was in the Olympics. And as soon as I discovered all of these facts about it, it just became this, this new amazing thing for me. And that feeling, I wanted other people to be able to feel that as well. So that's all, that also ties into um, this new initiative is, you know, giving other people a chance to feel the way that I felt when I first started the sport. So what next for you, Ruth? You're already an English two-time champion. The Olympics are in two years. What are your chances of getting to Paris? Yeah, so, you know, I, I've always said that the Olympics are my goal, and so I'm going to work my hardest to get there. Um, whether it's Paris, whether it's LA, I'm just going to keep on working, and hopefully my performance kind of, you know, does the talking for me. Um, but at the moment, I'm honestly just enjoying the journey. Um, every, every competition that I compete at, whether it's domestically or internationally, you know, I, it's just I treat every opportunity as a gift, so I'm just glad that I can continue to well, do what I do. Well, good luck, Ruth. You're, you're a real inspiration. Good luck with Target Change and good luck for Paris 2024. Ruth Wandumba there for us. Thank you.